Hello and welcome to another video on LabVIEW Advantage. In this video, we'll learn how to implement calendar user interface in LabVIEW. For example, you might have an application in which you need to get the calendar data. So if we go into the user interface that is provided in the LabVIEW, now, as you can see, there are many different options available. For example, I should be able to select the date, month, year, and so on. But what if I just want the dates only? I just want the date only and then not the... I want my user interface to be clean uh, only with um, the weekdays and then the calendar month. So to achieve this, rather than using this approach, what we'll do it is we'll use the system functions that, from our Windows system. So for that one, we'll go to the .NET palette and get the .NET container. The .NET container allows us to use the functionalities that are in our operating system. So I'll go to select the .NET control and in the systems Windows forms, you are going to select the month calendar so if i press ok as you can see now all the other controls has disappeared and i have only the access to the month uh, calendar only so the next thing uh, we're going to write a code to read the data from this dotnet container so i'll send the reference inside my while loop and in the properties i'll go down and select the selection start property node uh, this will re return me the timestamp of whatever data in the calendar month i've selected okay once i've done it i will get the cluster over there for that i'll go to the timing palette and select the seconds to date time vi this will convert the timestamp into a cluster so if I use the unbundle by name, I can read all the selected data over here. Well, the next thing what I can do it is like I can create an indicator as well to read the data without actually creating control for respective terminals and so on. Now for to test, I'm going to complete the code. Now we'll run the VI. So if I run the VI, as you can see, we can select the data based on whatever value I'll select in the connector. But the problem here is what we are saying is uh, it is a little bit unreadable. So I'm going to use another VI to read the proper data. So in this case, I'll get the get date time string VI. Uh, this function is going to uh, return me in the string format. So I'll provide the command over there. That will be the long and create indicator for uh, both output terminals. Once that is done, I'm going to run the VI. And as you can see, like uh, whenever I select the data, I can actually read the information correctly. Uh, and I can also go to like a different years and go back to the month and dates and everything. But the thing you must have seen that the .NET container has collapsed and it's not actually showing the entire value and so on. So what we're going to do is we're going to the properties and identify what is the current size of that one. Okay. So our container should be at least larger than the required size. I can still check. As you can see, that is very less. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on that one and go to the create property nodes. And then on the bottom, we'll get the container bounds. Okay. 
container bounds property node, I'll change that to read, uh, not actually write, and then create constant, and then change that to 250 each, both of them. Both dimensions will be 250, and now if I run the VI, uh, it will perfectly fit within the the container will be right sized. So this is how you can implement the .NET container to create the user interface in LabVIEW for the calendar. I hope you like this video. Please like, share and comment on this video and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for future LabVIEW videos.